this uh, channel. Let's continue with our full course in uh, AutoCAD for mechanical engineering. This is lesson number five. In this lesson, we will uh, know how can we uh, use the polygon, rectangle and ellipse command. Let's start with the uh, polygon. I just come here and activate the command and then ask me the side. I'll just uh, uh, type the side here. So we can make from 3 to 1024 sides. I'll just keep the 6. Enter. And then click anywhere. And then ask me inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle. What is the difference between them and why it's important to know the difference? Let's go back to the next page and see the difference between them. As we can see here, inscribed in circle, the radius is between the center to the bottom edge of the polygon. And circumscribed about circle, the radius is between the center and in the middle of the edge of the polygon. So, as you can see here, they have both the same radius, 28, but the circumscribed is bigger than inscribed. That, that's why it is important to, to know the difference between them. Let's go back and uh, make our polygon. Activate the command, select the sides, in this case 6, click, click anywhere, and then I will start with inscribed. So, ask me for the radio, we'll just put 28, enter. That's the way we do. So, let's do another way. Six side, click, specify the center, click there, and then circle stripes about circle, click, and then specify the radius. We just put also 28. So, that's the way we can make the polygon. Okay, so let's make the rectangle. To make the rectangle is the same thing. Come here and the click rectangle. Click anywhere, extend until where you want and then click. So we can make again. In this case, if you know the height and the length, come here so in this case specify the corner point and then specify the corner and the uh, point we'll just put in this case let's see so you can make in this case like 70 and then the other point specify the the corner point we'll just put 20 enter so that's the way we can make rectangle ellipse we have uh, three different way to make the ellipse so we have the first way is the center so you, you just click in the center and then uh, specify the and the point of the axis and then you just specify the distance the other way is, is axis and end so in this case, you specify first the end axis of the ellipse and the other ends and the point of axis and then specify the distance. The last way we can make the ellipse is a elliptical arc. In this case, we have to make, uh, to make uh, five clicks. The first one is uh, the end point of the axis another end point of the axis and then uh, specify the distance and then specify the start angle and then specify the last angle so that's the way we can make the ellipse thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe as you have 50 videos in this uh, full tutorial let's go back to the next uh, Lesson, lesson number six. Thank you very much.